Guys, you ever notice that when an idea starts, when a group starts, something like whether it's LGBTQ, whether it's the red pill, whether it's feminism, the liberal movement, civil rights, it always starts off for a reason that's pretty well justified because there's injustice going on. And then it turns into something absolutely batshit crazy. You know, think of feminism originally started because girls were treated horribly at work and all sorts of ways. And then it turns into something where it's weaponized against men and they're outright aggressive and abusive with it. Same thing with civil rights, perfectly justified and needed when it first occurred. And now you got people saying they should get $5 million a person because of reparations. Then you have the LGBT movement. People just wanted to get married to you know, the opposite sex because they feel that way, whatever. Now you have people pushing the whole that stuff in kindergarten and whatnot. You have them saying the minor attracted person thing. Then the liberal movement, you know, perfectly reasonable. They just want social services, you know, um, basic, needs met and then it turns into something where it's outright socialism and then now it's turning into outright communism look at the red pill what's happened this whole red pill thing it's went from making men acknowledge that they've been convinced to be feminized over the last few decades to now just this echo chamber where everybody's feeling sorry for themselves and just feeling outright hateful towards women instead of actually doing what it originally was pushing on people to better yourself and to snap out of that victim mindset. Which if you look at the majority of people who sit around in these chat rooms all the time, I, I don't think that represents them one bit. And I think that is the intention, or at least the momentum that happens with these things. They always get hijacked by the toxic, most extreme, like five to 1% of people. So that is the cycle of these things. And that's what's happening with this red pill movement. But. I want to bring attention to the fact that if you're going to fight for something, if you're going to get pissed off about something, get pissed off to, over, over what's happening to America as a whole. You know, we, you have all these groups of guys right now who are just sitting in these echo chambers complaining about women, complaining about that they can't get any whatever. What the hell good is that doing for you? Look at what's happening to America right now. You know, there's millions of women out there, but there's one America. Fight for something that's worth fighting for. It. And if, listen, that's the head of the snake. That's the reason that there's this whole feminist push and men are being emasculated and whatnot. The whole thing that you're pissed off about, that's the root of it. That people are manipulating America from the media down to the schools and infiltrating every aspect of our lives and our ideology. So don't get wrapped up in being pissed off about little petty things. Get pissed off about something that's worth fighting for. Hope this resonated with you. If you wanna know what I'm all about, check out this playlist right here. And if you want to make change, you should get on YouTube and you should connect with me on my neck because I was massively successful at growing my YouTube channel in my first year. I got 40,000 subscribers, twice as many as Jake Paul did his first year. So I look forward to seeing you and I'll see you next time.